Welcome back to Postcards from St. Petersburg. This week we're going to the town of Rapino on the Finnish Gulf. From uh, warmer climes, you might find it interesting to see what the uh, what the Finnish Gulf looks like at the end of winter, when the whole thing is uh, is frozen over. It's uh, the 26th of March now, so it's warming up. It won't be frozen over for very much longer. But nevertheless, on the bus out to Zelenogorsk, I got, which is uh, 160 rubles. That's about one pound sixty from uh, St. Petersburg. There were still quite a lot of fishermen out there with their equipment for breaking the ice that will be out here at various places across the sea fishing today. Uh, but I'm walking back in from Zelenigors to Rapino. Uh, I'm hopefully going to have a look at the museum of Ilya Rapin that is there with some of his artwork. But I just thought I would share with you how beautiful it looks over the sea. Generally in Russia, there's no surer sign of a fairly posh place than seeing the English language being bandied around. But as you see behind me there, we've got the uh, Holistic Beauty Club Sensors and we've got the uh, Gourmet Club Restaurant Eclipse, uh, Rapino. And in general, this area of the, the Finnish Gulf is a uh, fairly prestigious area. The, the property here, in general, the prices could be quite a bit more expensive. So I popped in the little gourmet supermarket here and was able to get a, a cold uh, Starbucks drink, which is a bit of a treat, and a couple of nice uh, pastries, a chicken samson, a samson and a meat pie. So I'm going to try these and then head off to the uh, Rapino Ilya Rapin Museum, which currently also has an exhibition about Ilya Rapin's friendship with uh, Tolstoy. Uh, they, were, they were very close friends and apparently influenced each other's art quite a bit. So I'm interested to see about those. If you remember from my previous video on the Russian Museum, Ilya Rapin's paintings were some of my favourite ones, particularly the one about the Zaporozhian Cossacks. Just away from the coast a little, here is uh, Rapino's church. Pleasant little church, the Church of Our Lord of the Transfiguration. I just found out recently that uh, in order for a village to officially become a village in Russia, historically, it was when the, the villagers built a church, that was the, the step that made it into a, a village recognised by the Tsar. So here's the man himself, Ilya Rapin, born in uh, Ukraine in uh, Kharkov in 1844 and died here in 1930 in the town now named after him of Rapino. Well, we've arrived at his house, and here he is to greet us with his Cossacks behind him.
lovely little house museum of uh, Ilya Repin. Uh, included, as well as the typical museum there, there was an exhibition that was on loan from the Tolstoy Museum in Moscow, which was about the friendship between Ilya Repin and Leo Tolstoy. Um, having read some of uh, Tolstoy's later works, I'm aware that Tolstoy later in life became very religious and uh, pro-vegetarianism, beyond pro-vegetarianism really, he had a very strict code about what you should and shouldn't eat and the various effects of it. And I didn't realise, but Elia Repin also uh, joined in in that and the, um, the kitchen that they had there, the dining room, was used for, for vegetarian feasts within, within Russia at the time. Him and particularly his wife, his second wife, Norman, was particularly keen on that. Uh, Tolstoy, of course, was a big influence on, on Gandhi. Gandhi's ideas of uh, passive resistance and, and non-violence were very much drawn from Tolstoy's later works. But this isn't about Tolstoy, it's about Repin, this is his garden. Uh, and I think that's all for this week from Postcards from St. Petersburg. I'm going to head back now into St. Petersburg. So thanks for listening.